Chapter 1. The Call of the Atlas Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm about to recount the most extraordinary adventure of my life. It all began one rainy afternoon while I was exploring the attic of my childhood home. Amid the dusty boxes and forgotten relics, I stumbled upon an old atlas that had been gathering dust for years. As I flipped through its yellowed pages, one map caught my eye. Australia. It seemed to leap off the page as if it was beckoning me. The vast outback, the mesmerizing reefs, and the sprawling cities. All of it felt like a call I couldn't ignore. My curiosity ignited, and I knew I had to embark on a journey to this enigmatic land down under. Chapter 2 Arrival in Sydney A few weeks later, I found myself stepping off a plane into the bright, bustling energy of Sydney. The city greeted me with its iconic landmarks, the Sydney Opera House's soaring sails, and the lively streets filled with cafes and boutiques. Sydney was vibrant and alive, but my spirit longed for something beyond the urban sprawl. I was eager to immerse myself in the wild, untamed side of Australia. Chapter 3 Diving into the Great Barrier Reef After a few days in Sydney, I flew to Cairns, the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. As the plane descended, I gazed out the window at a breathtaking expanse of blues and greens. The world's largest coral reef system spread out like a living mosaic. The next morning, I joined a group of fellow adventurers on a small boat bound for a secluded section of the reef. As we approached, the water became crystal clear, revealing vibrant coral formations below. I donned my snorkel and plunged into the water, immediately surrounded by a dazzling array of marine life. Schools of rainbow-colored fish darted around me, and a graceful sea turtle glided by, giving me the feeling of a personal tour of its underwater kingdom. Chapter 4. A Dolphin Encounter the real magic unfolded later that day. As the sun began to set, our guide pointed out a pot of dolphins frolicking in the distance. Without hesitation, I slipped back into the water. One of the dolphins swam right up to me, and we locked eyes in a moment of pure connection. It felt as though the dolphin understood me in a way no human ever could. We swam together, diving and twirling in perfect harmony, creating a memory I would cherish forever. Chapter 5. Enchantments of the Daintree Rainforest The next leg of my journey took me to the Daintree Rainforest, one of the oldest rainforests on Earth. Hiking through the dense jungle, I was enveloped by the sounds of exotic birds and the rustling of hidden creatures. The air was thick with the scent of earth and rain, and the sunlight filtering through the canopy created a soft green glow. After hours of trekking, I discovered a hidden waterfall cascading into a crystal clear pool. I couldn't resist diving in. The refreshing water against my sun-warmed skin was invigorating, and as I floated on my back, gazing up at the sky through the leaves, I felt an overwhelming sense of peace and belonging. Chapter 6. The Heart of the Outback My adventure then led me to the heart of the outback a stark contrast to the lush rainforest. The landscape was a vast expanse of red earth and endless sky, dotted only by occasional rocky outcrops and lone eucalyptus trees. I was on my way to Uluru, the sacred rock formation that rises from the desert like a colossal sentinel. Standing before it, I understood why the aboriginal people revere it so deeply. There was something otherworldly about Uluru, as if it held the secrets of the earth within its ancient stone. I walked around its base, feeling the rough texture of the rock under my fingertips, absorbing the deep sense of history and spirituality that radiated from it. Chapter 7 The Uluru Sunset As the sun began to set, Uluru came alive with color. The rock glowed in the fading light, shifting from deep orange to fiery crimson. It felt as though the earth itself was aflame. I sat in awe, watching as the stars emerged, one by one, 
until the sky was a blanket of shimmering lights. The Milky Way stretched out above me in all its glory. It was a moment of pure magic, a memory that I knew would stay with me for the rest of my life. Chapter 8 Beyond the Horizons, my journey through Australia was filled with more adventures than I could have ever imagined. From diving with sharks off Western Australia's coast to camping under the stars in the heart of the outback, every day brought new discoveries and challenges. But more than the stunning landscapes and incredible wildlife, it was the people I met along the way who made the trip truly unforgettable. Australians have a unique way of making you feel at home. Whether you're sharing stories around a campfire or learning about the rich culture of the Aboriginal people. Chapter 9 A New Self By the time I returned home, I was a changed person. Australia had opened my eyes to the wonders of the world and the beauty of stepping outside my comfort zone. I had discovered a part of myself that was wild and free, just like the land I had explored. As I sit here now, writing this story, I smile at the thought of Australia. It will always be with me, in the sound of waves against the reef, the rustle of wind through the outback, and the memories of dolphins, waterfalls, and the sacred rock that watched over me on my journey into the heart of the wild.